This is the Music History Today podcast for September 12th. On today's show, the Monkees debut and the legendary Johnny Cash passes away. First up, though, on this date in 1943, Frank Sinatra signed a film contract with RKO Pictures. In 1957, Larry Williams recorded the song Boney Maroney. In 1966, the television show The Monkees debuted. Also on that same day, country music singer Roger Miller's TV variety show The Roger Miller Show premiered on NBC television. In 1967, singer and actress Rosemary Clooney and actor Jose Ferrer divorced for the second time due to Jose's cheating. In 1970, Bob Dylan and Judy Collins performed at a Woody Guthrie tribute concert in Los Angeles, California. In 1984, country music singer Barbara Mandrell was injured in a car accident. In 1987, the television show Showtime at the Apollo premiered. In 1994, country music singer George Jones had triple bypass surgery. In 1995, Michael Hutchins from NXS pled guilty in court for assaulting a photographer. In 1996, Jack and Meg White of the White Stripes were married. In 1999, the Farm Aid 99 concert was held. In 2009, Brad Arnold from Three Doors Down married equestrian athlete Jennifer Sanderford. In 2016, fans of Nelly started the hashtag Hot in Here streaming party hashtag playing his song Hot in Here on Spotify. I just love saying it that way. Sorry, it's Hot in Here, but the way he spells it is H-E-R-R-E. So Hot in Here in any event. They started playing his song so he could earn $2.4 million in royalties to pay off his income tax debt. And since Spotify pays 0.007 cents per stream in royalties, someone estimated that it would take him 342,857,142 times that the song would have to be played in order for Nelly to make back the $2.4 million. Not sure if that plan actually worked. However, he has to date over 4.791 billion Spotify streams since his music was first posted on the platform which means that he's grossed over $33 million on Spotify streaming revenue alone, not including other streaming platforms. In 2017, a telethon was held to help the victims of Hurricanes Harvey and Irma. Dave Matthews, Demi Lovato, and Stevie Wonder all performed on the telethon. Also in 2017, Lady Gaga announced that she was fighting the disease fibromyalgia. And in 2022, the television talk show The Jennifer Hudson Show, starring the singer, actress, and producer Jennifer Hudson, made its debut. In classical music, in 1840, composer Robert Schumann married fellow composer Clara Wyke. In 1910, Gustav Mahler premiered his Eighth Symphony. In theater, in 1925, the musical Lady Be Good closed on Broadway, and in 1927, the musical My Maryland opened on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on September 12th, in 2010, Lady Gaga and Eminem were the big winners on the MTV Video Music Awards, and in 2021, Lil Nas X, Olivia Rodrigo, and Justin Bieber were among the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards. Albums that were released in the UK on September 12th include in 1980 when Golden Earring released Prisoner of the Night. Meanwhile, in America, in 1963, Brenda Lee released Let Me Sing. In 1969, the Rolling Stones released Through the Past Darkly, Big Hits Volume 2. In 1973, the Jackson 5 released G.I.T. Get It Together. In 1975, Pink Floyd released Wish You Were Here. Also in 1975, Thin Lizzy released Fighting. In 1976, Electric Light Orchestra, or ELO, released A New World Record. In 1977, Chicago released Chicago 11. In 1980, David Bowie released Scary Monsters. Golden Earring released Long Blonde Animal. And XTC released Black Sea. In 1981, Simple Minds did a twofer. They released Sister Feelings Call and Sons and Fascination. 
1983, Saga released Heads or Tails and UB40 released Labor of Love. In 1984, The Talking Heads released Stop Making Sense and The DBs released Like This. In 1989, Aerosmith released Pump. In 1990, Annihilator released Never Neverland. In 1994, Disco Inferno released D.I. Go Pop. In 1995, Big Audio Dynamite released Planet B.A.D. Lenny Kravitz released Circus. And Jethro Tull released Roots to Branches. In 1999, Sloan released Between the Bridges. In 2000, at the drive-in, released Relationship of Command. Christina Aguilera released Mi Reflejo. Blood Rock released Triptych. And Leonard Skinner released Christmas Time again, along with the Bare Naked Ladies releasing Maroon. In 2005, Simple Minds released Black and White 050505, and David Gray released Life in Slow Motion. In 2006, Atlanta Rhythm Section released The Day Bear Bryant Died. Everclear released Welcome to the Drama Club. Peter Frampton released Fingerprints. Bob Seger released Face the Promise. In 2008, Metallica released Death Magnetic. And in 2011, PJ Harvey released the iTunes Session EP. Singles that were released in the UK on September 12th include in 1969 when Dusty Springfield released Am I the Same Girl and in 1975 George Harrison released You. Meanwhile in America in 1957 Buddy Holly released I'm Gonna Love You Too. In 1960 Aretha Franklin released Today I Sing the Blues. In 1980 Stevie Wonder released Master Blaster Jammin'. In 1984 Tina Turner released Better Be Good to Me. In 1989, Linda Ronstadt and Aaron Neville released Don't Know Much. And in 2006, My Chemical Romance released Welcome to the Black Parade. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 12th include singer and actress, EGOT winner actually, Miss Jennifer Hudson, rapper Kim Nanjun of BTS, a.k.a. RM is what he's known as, rapper 2 Chains, singer Kelsey Ballerini, the maestro of love himself, Mr. Barry White, country music singer George Jones, Neil Peart, the late great drummer from Rush, film composer Hans Zimmer, Patty Walters of As It Is, country music singer Lane Hardy, Ben Folds of Ben Folds 5, Jennifer Nettles of Sugarland, Reuben Studdard of American Idol fame, singer and actress Emmy Rossum, Barry Andrews of XTC, drummer Tommy Moore, who played with the Beatles during May and June of 1960 when they were known as the Silver Beatles back in the day, Jerry Beckley of America, singer Judy Clay, singer John Pierce, singer Maria Moldar, Dickie Peterson of Blue Cheer, Tony Stevens of Savoy Brown, and also the group Foghat, singer B.A. Robertson, singer and son of Paul McCartney, Mr. James McCartney. Colin Young of The Foundations, T-Bone Bellamy of Redbone, John Norwood Fisher of Fishbone, Larry Lamond of Primus, rapper Busy Bone of Bone Thugs and Harmony, lots of bones today, Gus G of Firewind, singer Gloria Jones, bassist Furio DeCastri, singer and bassist for the band Len, Sharon Johan Costanzo. Also, multi-instrumentalist Gerard Presenser, singer Carly Smithson of American Idol fame, also a lot of American Idol alumni on this list, singer Ali Ali Woodson of The Temptations, singer Bryce Benno Road of the Australian Jazz Quartet, singer Billy Daniels, and entertainer extraordinaire Mr. Maurice Chevalier. 
Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 12th include conductor and composer Reinhard Kaiser, who passed away in 1739 at the age of 65. Composer Jean Rameau passed away in 1764 at the age of 80. Composer Franz Richter passed away in 1789 at the age of 79. Composer Christian Thomas passed away in 1806 at the age of 58. Composer Edward Miller passed away in 1807 at the age of 71. Composer Jose Mauricio passed away in 1815 at the age of 63. Composer Carl Collin passed away in 1871 at the age of 43. Composer Julius Wright passed away in 1877 at the age of 64. Clarinetist Edmund Jenkins passed away in 1926 at the age of 32. Composer Harry Shelley passed away in 1947 at the age of 89. Composer Harry Burley passed away in 1949 at the age of 82. Country music singer Rod Brassfield passed away in 1958 at the age of 48. Composer Jules Bufano passed away in 1960 at the age of 62. Conductor Edward Fleeps passed away in 1973 at the age of 77. Composer Don Walker passed away in 1989 at the age of 81. Singer and actor Anthony Perkins passed away from AIDS in 1992 at the age of 60. Organist Herman Neeland passed away in 1993 at the age of 82. Record producer Major Bill Smith passed away in 1994 at the age of 72. Bassist Larry Gales passed away in 1995 at the age of 59. The co-founder of Polar Music, who also helped to run ABBA's career, Stig Anderson, passed away from heart issues in 1997 at the age of 66. Jazz saxophonist Stanley Turrentine passed away in 2000 at the age of 66. Country music legend The Man in Black, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Mr. Johnny Cash, passed away in 2003 at the age of 71. Drummer Kenny Buttry passed away in 2004 at the age of 59. Composer John Bueller passed away in 2004 at the age of 77. Singer Bobby Bird of James Brown and the Famous Flames passed away in 2007 at the age of 73. Sound engineer and inventor Ray Dolby of, of course, Dolby Sound Systems passed away in 2013 at the age of 80. Keyboardist for the jazz fusion group The Jazz Crusaders, Mr. Joe Sample, passed away in 2014 at the age of 75. Composer and conductor Salah El Mahdi passed away in 2014 at the age of 89. Bryn Merrick of The Damned passed away in 2015 at the age of 56. Drummer Frank Capp passed away in 2017 at the age of 86. Singer Rashid Taha passed away in 2018 at the age of 59. Singer Edna Wright of Honeycone passed away in 2020 at the age of 75. And jazz pianist Ramsey Lewis passed away in 2022 at the age of 87. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 13th when in 1994, Biggie debuts. And in 1996... The world loses Tupac. <laughs> 